Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today I thought we would do a little vlog style video. It has been a crazy few weeks, which is why I haven't posted any makeup videos lately. So I thought I would just kind of walk you through what's going on, hang out with me. I'm going to be going to Home Goods right now and Target. So hopefully I could film a little bit in Home Goods, and I thought we would just spend the day together. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and keep watching. So I made it to Home Goods. I don't know what this lighting situation is going to be like. I wanted to kind of talk to you as I drove, but this camera just wiggles all over the place and it makes me dizzy when I edit so I don't want to post that but I was just kind of telling you guys how the last few weeks have been really stressful work wise I am so busy like 12 hour work days that I have no energy and I film my videos on the weekend but I'm actually starting to dip my toes into buying a house so that's what's been taking up my weekend so it's just been so busy that I have no time to film formal YouTube videos but vlogging is really easy and I wanted to like I said give you guys like a little bit of an update of what's going on so I'm gonna share some fun things with you we're gonna go into home goods I'll try to film what I find if not I'll come back out here and show you guys what I get if anything it's Friday I took off work I needed a break so it's not so crazy busy here it's always nice to go on a non weekend day even though Fridays can kind of be busy I'm gonna share with you this little like self-defense kit I put together for late night walks with the dog we're gonna do that tiktok pasta with the feta cheese and the cherry tomatoes and what else I bought a handful of things over the last few weeks I bought a lot of skincare I bought some nail stuff I just I have some fun things to share today so let's get into home good before too many people get in there and yeah I think this is gonna be a really fun vlog all right I didn't even film in there because there was nothing good like nothing not a single thing that I was even like mm, do I need this nothing so that was a bust, which is a bummer because I was hoping I would find something exciting. But I do have an order for pickup at Target, which is literally across the street. So I'm going to give them a second to like get that ready and go over there. But <laughs> is it bad that I want Chipotle? There's a Chipotle in this little, what do you call this? A mini mall, strip mall? I don't know, whatever you call this. And I kind of want Chipotle. So they open in now they open now so do i get chipotle go get my order and then eat we're gonna make tiktok pasta later like is that too much usually when i eat chipotle i like can't eat anything else for the rest of the day because i'm so full but hmm. let's go to target first i feel like target pickup is always a good thing sorry this is gonna be shaky um because it prevents me from going in the store and buying unnecessary things you know what I mean it's really kind of helped my budget <laughs> so I did the target pickup so let me quickly show you what I got I'm sure this is no surprise because I feel like I've seen these everywhere these are the studio McGee this is the large jug and I also got his little baby brother the small jug so we've got the big guy and the small guy I want to put like pompous grass you know everybody's doing that right now or like some branches or something like that in here but they're so cute and I couldn't find them anywhere online um, so I found them well online like for shipping so I found them at one of the local target stores the little guy is 20 the big guy is 30 and I think these are so cute for styling I want to get more into like styling my apartment I feel like I've slowly done things here and there, but I don't know. It's just, it's not where I want it to be. And since I'm kind of, you know, like in the market for buying a house, I figure I'll start to build pieces. I don't want to get anything huge right now, obviously, because I don't know if that'll fit the space of wherever I move. But yeah, these are really cute. So if you find these in your store, pick them up. Really, really good quality. So I also got my Chipotle. I got a chicken bowl with white rice, black beans, all the veggies no cheese no sour cream I'm not into that and then guac that reminds me what do you guys think of this elf collaboration with Chipotle there are all these brands doing food collabs and I don't know how I feel about it honestly it's it's kind of weird like Sally Hansen the nail brand collabed with Mentos and I was like 
what why what you know oh my gosh i'm so hot right now um i need a drink i also got a diet coke because you know what if you're going all out and getting chipotle go all out and like get yourself a diet coke if you want a diet coke or a coke or whatever but yeah i just that collab threw me for a loop so i don't know maybe i'll end up picking something up but i wanted to mention that because i just i thought it was strange you know there is nothing like a fountain diet coke i've got to open up a window i'm like getting a sweat mustache all right so i probably ate about eight bites of that and i gotta say i don't think i like chipotle <laughs> it's been definitely over a year and a half maybe even two years since i've had it and i don't know i didn't like it so putting that away and I think I'm going to go to Ulta because that's not too far from here. And I haven't been to Ulta in a really long time. I just haven't had any desire to shop for makeup or anything like that. Like, I don't know what's gotten into me. I'm just, I don't know. I'm in a weird mode. I go through like phases of being like, oh my gosh, I want all the new makeup. And then other phases of being like, yeah, you have enough. Like, use what you have. So... We're going to go to Ulta, actually I'll turn this way, and see what they have. Ulta is also, yeah, okay, go ahead, don't, don't, don't even think about stopping, sir. Alright, so I found nothing at Ulta, this just is not a good shopping day for me, so I picked up George, he's in the back in his seat there, and we're going to head home because I'm just not having luck today, and in all honesty, there's not even anything that I really need so yeah we're gonna head home and i'll show you some of the things that i got that i was talking about before um yeah so that's the plan all right i made it back home i feel like it's like 5 p.m like i've been out all day and i've literally been out of the house for like two hours <laughs> and that's what like lockdown does to you so I gathered all the things that I purchased in the last few weeks and I wanted to show you. Remember how when I was about to go into Ulta, I was saying how I haven't been in the mood to purchase any makeup and I'm like not on a makeup hunt right now. I totally forgot I had ordered stuff from Ulta like a week ago. So I'll show you some of that. So first thing I want to show you is this. This is the Skin Better Science. This is a medical grade skincare brand that's sold at my med spot and I've like fallen in love with it. It is very, very expensive, but also really, really good. So this is the Alto Defense Serum, so vitamin C serum. I've been using this for like three weeks, maybe four weeks, somewhere around there, and I really like it. I do feel like I can see more of a glow in my skin and I feel like it's kind of helping with discoloration. Now, I don't have a lot of discoloration, but I have some like weird red kind of brownness right here and I feel like it's helping with that which is awesome so my friend D gave me a couple of samples she works at a dermatology office she gave me a couple of samples of their eye cream the interfuse treatment cream eye and the trio rebalancing moisture treatment and I fell in love with them so I purchased the full size again really expensive I think the Moisturizer is like $150 or something like that. The eye cream is like $105 and this vitamin C serum was like $150. So really expensive, something to invest in, but I really like to invest in skincare because I want my skin to look the best it can. I also picked up these Mighty Patch, like blemish patch things just to see if I thought they work. I've seen uh, Juicy Jazz, Juzman, Juzman, <laughs> Juicy Jazz Jasmine on here talk about these a lot and how much she loves them and I had like I think it's still a little bit there is it on this side or this side I can't really see in the camera it's almost gone I think it's on this side a little pimple looked like it was about to come out from under the skin and I put this on and over the last few days it hasn't come up it's only gotten smaller so I'm not sure if it's this you put it on you sleep with it take it off it's invisible but you can kind of see it so yeah I'll let you know I can't tell after one use if it was just my skin kind of repairing itself or what. So as far as makeup, um, you guys recommended I try the NYX Brow Glue. So I've been testing this alongside my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Set. And it does hold your brows in place really nice, but it's a little more uh, moldable than the, like, pliable, I guess, than the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Set. 
the 24 hour brow set is truly like glue for your brows where they get hard. I have it in today and you can't really move them at all. This is still pliable, which I kind of like because the feeling of the 24 hour brow set is like, ooh, it feels like hairspray glue. This doesn't. So I'm still testing it. I want to give it a couple more weeks and I'll let you know, but I picked that up. This is like $8, really cheap. I picked up these eco tools bio blenders the biodegradable blenders that like everybody has talked about so i want to see how i like these because i really like the idea of a biodegradable sponge so i haven't tried them yet we'll see i picked up uh the Too faced born this way multi sculpting concealer because i did this or that on my story for high-end makeup and you guys chose this i still don't love Too Faced as a brand. I did really, really like this concealer though. So we'll see. We'll see if this is as good as I remember it being. I picked up a KKW lip liner because I feel like everybody has this. I picked up 1.5 Nude. And can somebody tell me if all of the caps just like easily come off like this or did I get some kind of dud? Because I mean, there's no way I could ever travel with this, keep it in my purse or anything because it falls right off but I do like the color it's a kind of a I don't know it's like a cool warm tone brown at the same time I haven't used it yet but I want to say you guys yeah you definitely chose this on the poll so we'll test it out in that and then finally I know a lot here right I picked up the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Mykonos I haven't even opened this to test it yet so let me open it Lisa Lisa D1 talks about these all the time. It is her like favorite blush. I think it's, no, it actually feels really powdery. I thought for some reason that it was going to be kind of like the ColourPop type of thing where it's like soft, but ooh, that blends out really nice and is really, really pretty. It has a nice sheen to it. I have a feeling I'm going to really like this. I'm still on the hunt for that perfect blush brush you guys gave me some recommendations there are some i looked at at ulta today and i was like oh i don't know if that's exactly it i don't even know in my own head what exactly i'm looking for but when i find it it'll be a good day so i'm gonna hang out for a little while <laughs> look at george he will sit there all day and look out the window and just like bark at dogs walking by make little noises and then in like an hour he's gonna be like oh i want to go out there it looks nice he is so affected by the weather when it's like really cold and dark out he doesn't want to go out at all but when it's nice and warm and the sun's out he wants to go out so oh i want to show you one more thing actually my little self-defense kit hold on all right so this is george's leash um it has it's a six foot leash which we can have a whole separate video discussion on what i think is like the best accessories for dogs like I feel like I've tried everything cats too I feel like I've tried everything for my cats but this one I really liked because it came with this little d-ring on the end so I purchased this carabiner and I've had so many different things hanging from this leash in the last almost four years he's gonna be four in July and I cannot believe how fast he is growing up but I wanted to make sure I had you know, self-defense things with me. I've always had like something on my leash, but I've like upped my game a little bit. I feel like, I don't know, I still want one more thing. I want some kind of like alarm or air horn, but I haven't found the perfect thing yet. And it took me like forever to find the perfect things for this. So anyway, I have his little messy mutts, like um, poop bag thing here. I have my house keys. <laughs> Somebody gave me this. It's kind of like a brass knuckle situation, you know, so I just keep it on there just in case. I did recently pick up this little pocket knife just in case, you know, I mean, it's a pocket knife, right? But it is sharp. Like I can't push my finger on this like I could push it on the brass knuckles. So, you know, I don't know. It makes me feel a little more secure. And then I have this mace and this is the thing I wanted to share the most because or it's pepper spray because I don't think you can one of the two I can't remember which one is like illegal but George is fluffing <laughs> he has to like find his perfect little spot to sit in but this is the saber red defense spray and it's like a mini version but that's not what I was looking for even though it's really nice I was looking for something that had a key ring attachment and it wasn't one of those that just like easily flips to the side if you guys have had pepper spray in the past you guys know what I'm talking about I've had that and I would always find it in the on position which scares the crap out of me because I don't want to accidentally spray it myself or George when we're walking so this one is actually like a twist 
So you have to actually, I'm like scared to twist it, twist it like that. Now it's in the on position and the off position. So obviously when it's in the off position, you can't press it down, but that's what I was looking for. Something a little more secure than one of those just like flip to the side or flip up things. So I really like this. When I eventually find my like alarm that I'm looking for, I'll share that with you, but I'll link to everything I have down below because it can be scary to walk by yourself at night. I hope that helps. So I'll link everything down below and I'm going to go chill with this guy for a little bit and watch some TV. I feel like I'm playing hooky whenever, as an adult, I take time off, like a day off when I would typically be working. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what do I do? I have so much freedom, you know, kind of like when you're a kid and you stay home sick and like you're awake during the day, that type of thing. So I think I'm going to watch some Housewives or something like that and just, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it's not quite dinner time, but I wanted something sweet. So I pulled out these smart sweets. It's the sour melon bites. And I cannot decide if I like them or if I don't. I feel the same way about their Swedish fish. There's only three grams of sugar. I'll show you guys the back so you guys can see the nutrition if you were interested in it. But I don't know if I like these. I, again, kind of like what I was saying with Chipotle, even though that was awful. I, I feel like if I'm going to have candy i just want to go for the real thing but i do understand some people you know don't want to have that much sugar but let me show you what they look like inside okay see so you could see the little bit of like sour it's not sugar maybe it is sugar i don't know they're that you can't have this excuse me <laughs> um but yeah i don't know have you guys tried these what do you think they have like a twizzler version and if i'm gonna have candy i usually go for twizzler so i might try that but i don't know i wanted to pull these out and see what you guys thought okay so we're gonna get started on the tiktok pasta i'm also gonna do chicken i'm trying to decide if i want to bread it so we'll see but we need two pints of cherry or grape tomatoes. I have the organic angel sweet. It says one shallot, but I'm not gonna put shallot in it or onion because I don't have any. So I'm gonna use onion powder instead. Three cloves of garlic, which I have. Half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which I probably have a quarter cup. So I'm gonna have to mix in avocado oil because I don't have um, olive oil. Crushed red pepper flakes, I have that. A block of feta, so I do have that. All Whole Foods had was this raw goat milk feta cheese, so I hope this works. And I'm also going to use the, I have no idea how to pronounce this, Borson, because it has shallot in it, which will help since I don't have shallot. And I read online that somebody said to throw this in and it gets creamier, so I'm going to put both of these. 10 ounces of pasta. I have fusilli here, and this is 16 ounces, so we won't use all of that. And then the zest of one lemon, so tomatoes, garlic, and it says most of the olive oil. I'm gonna start with a fourth a cup of oil. This is a mixture of olive oil and avocado oil since that's all we have, but this seems like a lot, even though it calls for half a cup. We're gonna start with this and see. I'm gonna hit it with some pepper, salt. This is real salt, so it has like minerals in it. This is pretty much the only salt I use now, unless I'm using like kosher salt. Red pepper flakes. Just a sprinkle. Then I'm just gonna hit it with some onion powder. I'm just gonna kinda mix everything up. It smells like feta, but it doesn't look like feta cheese to me. Does this look like feta cheese to you? Am I crazy? It looks too smooth. I don't want to break it though, so in it goes. If you haven't had this cheese before, it is so good. Oh, this is, this is a lot. Half? Nah, let's just, just go for it. The lighting in this kitchen is awful, but I mean, if you weren't filming this, this would take you two minutes to do. So yeah, I guess we'll see how it turns out. That's a lot of cheese. This goes in the oven at 400 for 40 to 45 minutes until the tomatoes like start to burst and the feta is golden on the top. George is playing with Theo behind me. And then we'll start to cook the chicken in like 10 minutes. So I just have a little, ol uh, not olive oil, avocado oil in the pan. 
And I wanna season one side and flip it real quick, so I'm just doing my salt, pepper, garlic powder. I do kinda of wanna use fresh, but I don't wanna cut it. A little red pepper flake on one. Oregano, basil. I'm gonna flip it real quick, season the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit and get it a nice sear. Okay, so while that chicken continues to cook, I'm just gonna pop some asparagus in here and cook that as well, because I like to have some kind of green with dinner. And asparagus sounds really good. So I'm not gonna do really a lot here. I'm just gonna let that kind of boil with the water, season it with some salt, and that's pretty much it. I like my veggies really, really plain. No butter or anything. This is basically starting to boil enough. So I just took a bowl's worth, I don't know, we're gonna dump that in and we have six minutes left on the timer for the sauce. So we'll uh, let this cook up for 10 minutes. Holy shit, this smells really good. Whoa. Okay, I've never actually seen what people do after this step, but my knee jerk reaction is to like mix it all together with a spatula and kind of you know like press the tomatoes so i'm gonna do that this still has a few minutes but oh my gosh this smells so damn good oh my god okay so this is what the sauce looks like let's taste it It tastes like cheese. <laughs> it tastes like cheese with a hint of tomato, which is exactly what it is. So it's obviously good. It needs some salt though. So let's put the pasta in. I did reserve half a cup of pasta water as well. It says to do that. So let's mix this in. You fold in the cheese then. Don't you dare. You fold it in. David! Let's... Taste it. Looks delicious. Really good. Really, really good. Oh, it almost tastes like sun-dried tomatoes now. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Make this. I'm gonna make a plate. Okay, so we have the TikTok pasta. Make this, this is so good. Asparagus, a little bit of chicken. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me turn the camera so you could see me. <laughs> Ironically, I moved back into the kitchen because the lighting is better in here than it is in the dining room. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. I really enjoyed hanging out with you today. I also wanted to say how today was such a good mental health day for me. I actually went on my Instagram stories on this and kind of talked about how I don't think people talk about mental health enough and it's been a really really rough few weeks for me at work and I just needed a day to do nothing and just do whatever came to mind and that's exactly what I did today and it feels so good so I do know I have a privilege with that where I can take off work and take days to just decompress so I hope you can too if you have them it's so important people again just don't talk about mental health enough and it's really really important to make sure you're taking care of yourself so little tangent there but I wanted to make sure to mention it let me know what you want to see next let me know if you enjoy these vlogs because they're really really easy to film whereas sitting down to do the makeup videos can be a little bit more challenging so thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye